it's Danny. welcome back to my channel today we're making chicken paella so we're gonna start off with browning our chorizo sausage and then we're gonna move on to the rest I have one chorizo sausage that I have thinly sliced and I'm just heating up my pan so that it's meat on medium-high heat you can use a paella pan for this but I'm just gonna use a fry pan because that's what we all have and um, it's probably the easiest way to do it Because of the amount of fat in the chorizo sausage, you don't need to add any oil to the pan. So we're gonna start off with a dry pan, add your chorizo, and you're gonna let it fry off. You'll see that it releases a whole lot of oil as it cooks. And we just wanna get the chorizo golden brown, and then we're gonna take it out and start off with frying our chicken. Now that our chorizo is all nice and golden brown, I'm gonna remove it from the pan and start frying our chicken. You don't want, you just want to get it golden brown, you don't want to burn it. Alright, so I have 400 grams of chickens. I'm going to fry this off in two batches. You want it thinly sliced. And you just want to get it nice and golden brown. So you don't need to cook it all the way through, just get the, the outside nice and golden brown. Again, it's still a medium high heat. Now that our chicken is cooked and our chorizo is nice and golden brown, we're going to start off with the vegetables. So here I've got a tablespoon of vegetable oil that I'm going to heat in the pan and then I'm going to add capsicum and onion. So we're going to fry these up until they're nice and translucent. You don't want the vegetables to be burnt, you want them to be nice and translucent. And I'm also going to add three cloves of crushed garlic vegetables are nice and soft and translucent what we're going to do now is we're going to add our paprika and this is just a teaspoon of paprika and one cup of rice so I have um, a medium green rice here and we're going to cook these through for about a minute. One of the things that I'm leaving out of this paella is the saffron. Now I know you might think what's paella without saffron, but I wasn't paying $12 for 10 strands of saffron at the local supermarket. And the only thing it's really going to do, it does add a little bit of flavour, but it's really just going to make the rice yellow and I don't care too much about that. I would rather have a budget meal then pay that much money for some strands of saffron. And if, if that's something that you want to do and you're happy to spend the $12, then please go ahead, but I wasn't going to. Now that we've cooked these through for about a minute, I'm going to add a 400 gram can of diced tomatoes. And one and a half cups of one and a half cups of chicken stock. So I'm going to get these to a boil, and then we're going to add back the chicken, the chorizo, and let them cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. Boil. I'm going to add back the chicken and the chorizo. Chicken. And here's the chorizo sausage. I'm going to also check it for seasoning, so salt and pepper, and find out whether it's right or it needs a little bit more. We should be okay with that. And let it simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. 
In that time the rice should be cooked and we can come back and serve it up. After 20 minutes, this is what my paella looks like and I'm now I'm going to serve it up and enjoy. If you like this video, I hope you um, stick around and subscribe to my channel. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked it and I hope to see you next time on Do It Frugal. Bye! See ya.